So who's ready for some more Forza 4? Yes, I can't believe I'm actually saying that on this Lego infused channel. Hello and welcome to Forza Horizon 4, the Lego Speed Champions DLC. Yes, Lego and Forza have been merged. It's awesome. <laughs> truly awesome. I've already done one video, I did the introduction to Lego Valley, this is now follow up from that. So in the last video, if you haven't watched it, I did unlock a Master Builder house. Um, basically there are Lego challenges that you've got to do, these include actually doing the races, um, and you unlock bricks, once you've got enough bricks you unlock whatever the target thing is. In the case of the last video, it was the house, that's the first thing you unlock. This one we're going for the Ferrari F40, so I'm gonna stick with the Mini as long as as I can and we are going to unlock that uh, we're going to unlock that uh, Ferrari which is awesome so let's jump straight into the first race right so here we are first race and uh, it looks like it's a loop is it a loop yes it is three laps right so hopefully you've had a chance to watch the uh, the previous episode in the series I am going to work my way through 100% in this DLC it's <laughs> it's a dream come true for me essentially Forza Horizon 4 is one of my favorite games and throwing Lego into the mix has just made it a hundred times better um, which is brilliant for me it means I get to play it on the YouTube channel as well which I've dedicated entirely to Lego um, which again absolutely brilliant um, but uh, I kind of have really high expectations for this anyway because um, if any of you have played Forza Horizon 3 there was a, um, a Hot Wheels DLC that came out with it um, and that was spectacular I mean if you if you love your Hot Wheels toys then uh, yeah you'll love that if you've not played it um, most people kind of expected another Hot Wheels DLC this year but no um, so basically at E3 earlier this week Microsoft announced that they had teamed up with Lego to create this beauty and they gave us like three days notice which is awesome <laughs> so there wasn't a very long wait for it which is again like I say brilliant um, so yeah um, yeah there's a lot of excitement in my voice you'll, <laughs> you'll get used to me I'm fanboying over the, the fact that Forza and Lego are now together which is superb anyway um, as I said um, before I started the race basically um, the, the DLC comes with different challenges that you got to do and um, for every challenge you do you get um, you get bricks which you use to unlock the next stage um, it's very much like um, essentially working your way through the normal Forza game and unlocking festival points but we're actually unlocking builds for our little house plot that we've got a little base plate um, so the first one is obviously unlocking the house which I did in the previous video this one is to unlock the Ferrari F40 um, so basically that's what we're working through for this video we've got 385 bricks that we need to get uh, you get about 60 there are two challenges there's one for competing race and one for finishing first so every time I finish first in a race I haven't done before I get 60 bricks so I reckon we can do this in about 20 minutes well, we'll find out. <laughs> I had no idea how long it's going to take. It might be a long video, it might not. But we'll see how we go. If I do get time, depending on how long the video is, as soon as I've unlocked the F40, I will actually give it a race. Um, because I'm going to try and stay with the Lego figures when I can. There's obviously where there is only the Mini and the, uh, the F40, there's probably going to be a couple of races that require me to use normal cars. Um, at some point as well, through this kind of let's play I'll go into the normal Forza world with all the cars once I've unlocked them because there is a McLaren Senna um, one of the most beautiful cars and a fantastic Lego build as well um, highly recommend it if you've um, not got it it's like £12 and the, the Lego build is fantastic and well worth getting um, so I'm guessing that's going to be one of the last things to unlock anyway I'm racing here and it, ugh, I love this environment, it's so cool, and almost everything is destructible. I mean, one of the big things that they've done with this uh, DLC is they've utilised the, the destruction uh, kind of engine, uh, which means rather than destroying trees and walls and stuff like that, you do in the normal world, you destroy anything Lego brick. With the exception of um, trees, there are certain trees that won't, very much like there is in the real world. Um, but it doesn't matter. 
Anyway, I am about to finish this race, so we have actually blitzed through this. I might have to make it harder because, yeah, that was a bit too easy. Boom, so there we go. Challenge completed. 20 bricks there. And another challenge completed. Another 40 bricks. So let's see what else we've got. See, these are all the different challenges that you unlock. As you can see, only 325 bricks for the Ferrari F40. So let's go and do another race. If we keep doing these and we keep winning them, that's going to be a pretty decent amount of bricks very, very quickly. Um, also, challenges like the uh, the speed trap, that will get you points if it's the first time you've done it, so that will get you bricks as well. Um, I think you get five bricks per star, so um, you get 15 bricks if you get all three stars. I think that's how it works. Um, I'm going to try and stay to the roads as much as I can, though that probably won't last very long, mainly because I like just driving straight through, just plowing through fields. Ooh, that guy's in a rush. Um, yeah, you'll find a lot of the other players are just using their standard cars, but I really want to make utilize the DLC and uh, just use the Mini where I can and the F40 once I've unlocked it. So, right, let's jump into another race. Right, let's do this. Ooh, I actually have one of those cars that number seven, uh, what was it, Monk Zeg 2 is driving. Oh, there's Louis up there. Gotta watch out for his Dravatar, it tends to try and plow me off the roads. <laughs> and the Doom Master. See, uh, as I mentioned in the last video, basically it, almost every single one of my friends is from playing racing games. A lot of my Xbox friends I got over the years, um, <laughs> many, many come from playing Burnout Paradise. There was a time very 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 long ago not after burnout paradise first came out but i was ranked in the top five in the world um but those days are long past me um but yeah i loved burnout paradise and as a result i made it with most of my xbox friends playing that or need for speed most wanted um outside of lego games my favorite games are racing games um, I just love them. Um, also, I did mention on the other video uh, that I do have a steering wheel. So at some point, I'm not using it now, I'm just using the Xbox controller. But at some point, I will use the steering wheel. I'll put a webcam up as well um, so you can see my uh, frustration. Um, yeah, I'm not great. <laughs> I'm not as great. Uh, yeah, so uh, but that'll be quite an interesting one. And they give me an excuse to extend this series because I want to keep this series going as long as I can just purely on the basis that it's not every day I get the opportunity to play a game like this uh, on the channel. Don't get me wrong, I love my LEGO games and I will be returning to LEGO Marvel Avengers Let's Play very, very soon. I can't try and get a couple of those videos in in between these videos, but um, yeah, it's, it's Forza. It's something different. It's not a LEGO game in that sense. It's just amazing. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, just exploring, just driving around has been amazing. I think I might have to up the difficulty though because, you know, I'm not really struggling at the moment. I mean, it's not an easy. Um, it's on, I think it's on above average. Uh, I might have to put it up to a highly skilled. Um, I don't know. I'll whack it up as high as I can get it without looking silly. <laughs> I don't think I'm quite confident enough for YouTube to whack it on the highest level, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's good. If you've not played Forza Horizon 4, highly recommend it. If you've got an Xbox, um, then yes, definitely well worth getting this game. You can even get it via Game Pass, so if you've never had Game Pass before, sign up for it. You get the first month for free, um, and you can play the full game. Um, I mean, I've not purchased it myself, I've got it through Game Pass. Um, I have purchased this DLC though, so that's the only difference, but you do get a bit of a discount through uh, Game Pass as well, I think it's like 10%. Um, so yeah, well worth getting if you've got an Xbox One. Um, if you haven't, go get one. Hopefully Xbox One should get a lot cheaper very soon with the announcement that Microsoft are bringing out a new Xbox next year. God, I love E3. Oh, the other thing, oh, the Lego Star Wars the Skywalker saga, all nine Skywalker based movies in one game and it's not a rehashing, it's not a remastering of the previous game, so it's not going to be a remaster of the complete saga with a couple of the other movies bolted on. This is a complete, as they described it, build brick by brick. They built it from scratch, so I mean that's exciting. Anyway, back to Forza. 
I could talk about Lego all day long, and I can do that on any other video. But this is Forza, man. Forza. Uh, I'm about to win this race as well, <laughs> while I've been chatting away. So there's another race. Boom. Okay, there we go. There's another challenge. We've done 120 bricks so far. So we got 265 to find, considering that was 385 not very long ago. Hopefully we should be able to blitz through quite a few of these. Right, where to next? Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have to do it the way I've done it. You don't have to just track them, because I'm pretty sure that most of the races are, if not all of them, are 40 bricks for winning them. So, uh, you don't have to. You could just drive around and find them. I'm just going for the, uh, the easy route, just so I can see what I've done very easily. Right, this is a loop. Right, let's do this. Who are we up against in this race? Oh, Guy McWash. <laughs> Random. Oh, Guy. Oh, who's that? Oh, man. I'm up against quite fast rally cars by the looks of it. Louis. Boo. <laughs> Out of my way. Where's all the other Lego characters? What is that? How come he's got. A green mini. I want to paint my mini. I'm going to do that at some point. Not now. But I will. I will later on. Right. Who's up in first? Vilkus. Okay. Interesting. Ah, oh, I just lost my uh, my combo. Never mind. It's quite interesting actually because where a good portion, what, 70-80% of the environment is Lego and yet if you look in the background you've still got the kind of um, ultra realistic Forza environments in the background as well. It's, it's basically like someone's em <laughs> emptied a giant Lego box on, well this particular area, onto the desert because um, this there's a lot of bits that are Lego, but then you just got like random, just the bushes and stuff like that. I don't care. Put as much Lego as you can. Mind you, this doesn't look very Lego, -y, apart from those trees <laughs> and the dinosaur bones I just destroyed, and the Lego. But the figures, mini figs. I'm glad they're enjoying it. Come on. Oh, this is a sprint. I thought this was a loop for a minute. Oh, that was a shocking corner. They're not that far behind me either. Ooh. Go! Right, there we go. One more corner. I don't think I'm going to lose this. I've done all right up until now. I haven't used the rewind either. I'm going to try very, very, very hard. It's only if I know it will totally mess me up that I'll use the, uh, the rewind, but I really don't want to use it in the video, so I'll try my very best not to. All right, so there we go, there's another one. How many we need left? We got, we need 205. Ooh, I've got a couple of uh, super spins, let's see what we get. Oh, I thought I was getting 300,000. No, I got a jazzy jacket, woo! Could have got a Ferrari, oh, what we got? Oh, there's a Ferrari, awesome. I've actually got quite a lot of money. Didn't realise. Oh, and we got a normal spin as well. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Uh, okay, not the most exciting car in all honesty. Right, let's get back to the challenges. I want that Ferrari. Right. Let's go. Okay. Is a Forza, a Forza Fawn live? No, I'm not going to do it this time. I will do a Forza Fawn live, probably in the next video. On the, um, on the Ferrari first. And what happened to that? And maybe that's the reason why I lost my tracker. Uh, uh, it's not showing me where the event is. Oh well, I'll tell you what, what's this event here? I'm just going to do this one. It's here. Well, I haven't done it. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh! It's ranked up as well. Right, go on then, let's do... 
Yeah, I'm going to try and use the uh, the Lego cars as much as I can. I mean, it's the reason I got them DLC. And to be fair, the good thing about Forza 4 is you can use pretty much any car for any race. So I should be able to use the Mini and hopefully the F40 when it comes up. Um, well, hopefully after the F40, the next thing I'll be unlocking is the McLaren uh, Senna. But oh, just have to wait and see for that one. <sighs> right. Whee! I haven't missed a checkpoint yet. I'm doing all right. Right, I'm determined not to miss any checkpoints. Who's up in front? Who is that up in front? Hey, it's Sam! That's my son, that's my son's uh, driver time that I'm about to pass. I don't feel bad about it because he's doing pretty well. So let's see if he finishes in second, that'd be nice. Awesome. <laughs> oh, good for Sam. To be fair, his Travatar is that good because I've done a lot of the races on the main game for him just to kind of level him up and get a few cars unlocked. So as a result, I'm racing against myself. Oh, that was a oh, that was a bad corner. He's still right behind me. Come on, Sam. You come second. Ooh. Big dip coming up. Boom! I do much prefer sprints over loop. Because uh, the problem is, uh, you know, lap races just get a bit boring. Um, I like the sprints because it's just one into the other and it's, you know, there's nothing repeating. Ah. Through the water. I can't believe how big, well, I can, because considering how big the Hot Wheels DLC was, and even the uh, Fortune Island on um, on this one, the one DLC that came before, you know, they are a fair size. It's interesting, though, that they follow the, pretty much exactly the same pattern as uh, Wars of Free in terms of a serious DLC and then a toy one. And there we go. Boom. Right, how are we doing? There's another race done, so another 60 bricks. Right, it's going well, it's going well. Right, we need 145. Okay, so we, we, we are not far off getting this Ferrari, which is awesome. Uh, right, what should I do? Would it help if I press the right button? No. Alright, there we go. Let's, let's find it. Let's see what we got. What we got. Uh, Lego Festival Sprint. Uh, okay, we'll go for the loop one. It's in the sea. Okay. To be fair, another reason why I'm trying to kind of expand it out and you know, just do different races is because driving there, you obviously, you go over roads, you unlock the roads, um, and you get points for once you hit a certain amount of roads, so it's worth doing for that. Oi! Nice. Only the one star, but that's still five bricks. Now, of course. I also get there's a river there. Oh, I thought I was going to hit that tree then. Look at it, it's so pretty! <laughs> right, we're going into the city. Into Brickchester. <laughs> Brickchester. That's about as British a name as they could come up with. Right, what was that? He said something about... Um, something about bonus bricks. I don't know. Ooh. Good driving there, Mike. Yep. Yeah. Right, what's down here? Oh, it's a, it's a board. We'll get it while we're here. I don't know how many there are. There's 25, so that's standard for a uh, Forza DLC. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Right, here we go. So, Brickchester Loop. Let's do this. Right, oh, it's a nighttime race as well, which is cool. Oh, look at it. I think it's funny because even though they tried to keep it kind of 
uh, they try to put in some of the sets that actually exist or have existed um, to make all these buildings look uh, like the ones that you can buy. They're, <laughs> they're trying to make it as British as possible because obviously Forza Horizon 4 is set in the UK. Uh, it's set, well, it's set partially in England, partially in Scotland because you've got Edinburgh as the kind of main city in the uh, normal core game. Um, so obviously they've tried to do that. Oh, what was that? Street sweeper. That must be to do a road discovery. Awesome. So that just got me 50 bricks. So I should, I should be nearly there. Oh. I just, want the, I just want the Ferrari. I want to, I want to give it a test run um, and still keep this video under a certain amount of time. <laughs> just keep you interested. Oh, that was a bad corner. God, this is this is a close one. Even though they are all behind me, which is a good thing. Nice combo there as well. Ninety-seven thousand. Right, we got one more lap to do. Almost. Right. All right. Let's get to the end of this layer. There's the end of the lap. They're a fair distance behind me, but they can catch up in the corners. It's one thing I always say about this game: when you are playing it, um, if you are falling a bit behind, um, when you come up to a corner, don't um, break too early. Kind of hit the corner a bit too fast when it's a bit orange, and then use the cars in front of you to kind of slow down to just bang into the side of them. Ugh, not like that. Um, and that is that should just give you that little kind of um, catch up that you need um, because when they when the um, when the PC cars, when the CPU cars, when they're running round corners, they really slow down, they really break. Oh, I won. Right. How many bricks have I got left to get? 30 bricks. 30 bricks. Oh, go on then. One more race. What can we do? Okay, so these are proper challenges. I don't want to do them just yet. I will come back. I'm, I'm determined to do every single brick on this page. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot. Right, so we do one more race and that should give us enough to get the Ferrari F40. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. So, let's get there first. River. Field. <laughs> so I wonder if the uh, seasons change in this game. Because in this DLC, because that would be quite interesting. Um, playing this in the winter would be quite cool. We're in, um, in terms of uh, Forza, we're in autumn in the, in the core game at the moment, so I wonder whether it will go to winter. Oh, I have to have a look. Oh, oh, oh. personal best. Do I get any bricks for that? No, still the one star, boo. Right. Turn! Right, let's do this. Right, let's do this. Right, hopefully this is the last race that we need to do in order to get the F40. Then I will have a bit of a drive around, maybe do a race if, um, if I can, and then we'll call it a day there and uh, work on whatever next is to be unlocked afterwards. Oh, get out of my way, guy. And you. Uh, the guy in front of steaming ahead. Sorry, this is the lap one. Oh, there's Sam again. Awesome. I love why he's showing up in the, as a Dravatar now because um, I let him play the game last <laughs> night. <laughs> as soon as I did the, uh, the video, it was like, Dad, 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 let me play. Yep, that's fine. Right. Pedro, how's it going? Uh, where did I. Pedro's on the ones I actually added. Um, Fours of Free, I believe. I was playing through Forza 3, I uh, did like a cop and uh, he came and joined me. And him, he's very, very good. Right. Ah! Boom. Right, two laps to go. I want to try and see how big a combo I can get up as well. Um, during the level, I mean, what are we at? Ooh, it's probably not going to be that high on this one. 
Um, maybe I can do a smaller race, uh, see if we can get a decent combo. Mind you, I've hit like 90,000. I mean, that was only 26,000. I have already spent a good deal of points on this specific uh, mini, just getting all of the uh, the extra driver abilities so that I don't lose my combo if I get hit first. Um, we've got a few wheel spins out of it. Um, just get extra points, which is always good. But, uh, it's interesting uh, that they did it per car in this game because in Forza 3 it's not, it's just per game. Anyway, let's do this last race. Uh, I feel like I should be commentating on the race and not talking gibberish, but I enjoy gibberish. And let's do this. Can't wait for that Ferrari. Yeah. Right, last lap, and then I get my Ferrari. I think in the next race, though, I am going to increase the difficulty because this is taking the mick a little bit. I mean, there should be some kind of a challenge. And they're miles behind me. Apart from that one little loop in Brickchester, for the most part, they've been miles behind me every single race. I'd like to say I'm that good, but I think it's just more that, yeah, I can up the difficulty a bit. I'm pretty sure it is definitely 100% on above average already. So I'm going to have to put it up to the highest setting. Which means I'm probably going to lose all my races. You'll keep watching, right? Right, here we go, one last turn. And... Boom! Oh, I've unlocked it. I've unlocked it. Back to the house. I think it's finished. I mean, I followed Yes. It sure looks like an F40. Well, it's night time as well. Awesome. Turn right. Uh, let's go and get my Ferrari. Uh, let's see how long it takes me to go off the road. I don't think it's going to be very long. <laughs> Oh, it's a big jump, big jump, that'll do it. Move out of the way! Ah, uh, no! Oh, Alright, into the festival we go. Here we go, folks, let's get the Ferrari. Oh, she's a beaut. To be fair, I've actually got this as a Lego set as well. Um, I've got this car. There are a lot of stickers, though. You see those little tiny Ferrari signs? They're actually pre-printed pieces, and they're so thin, so small. Um, just if you ever do get that set, make sure you check to make sure you got those pieces because they're just a two by one uh, element. Oh, what's that? Ferrari race. Oh, okay. Awesome. Right. I did say I wanted to test out the F40, so let's do this race and then we'll call it a day after that. But we've got the F40 now, so let's do this. I'll be interested to see how much faster this is. Um, ah, and you, it, yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work off road quite as well. Ah, oh, man. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. Mind you, it is a real wheel car, so. Right, I'm not. <laughs> I am not doing well. <laughs> All right, I've spun it out and crashed it. Oh, and smashed into a mini. All right, awesome. All right, here we are though. Lego Ferrari F40 race. Let's do this. Right, so here we go. It is the Lego F40 versus the real F40, uh, which should be interesting. What's it called? Folderizer. Folderizer. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa, it's fast. And it doesn't turn very well. No, come back. If I win this, I get to keep that car. I need to win this race. It's a sprint as well. I'm already 10% in. Come on. Okay, it seems to have slowed down. Goodbye. I'm in a Lego car, which means I'm lighter. Which means I'm faster. <laughs> but it doesn't corner very well. It really doesn't corner very well. Jeez. 
Right. Folks on the way through. Oh, he's right behind me though. He's catching me in the corners. And other than that. Then his straight's coming up. No, not really. Uh, Bendy, okay, right, I think I've taken enough of the lead that we don't have to worry. We're only halfway through and I've already lost him on the minimap. Whoa, so now we just get to test out the speed of this thing. Alright, uh, I reckon, what, 200 mile an hour? It's a 1980s car. 1980s um, supercar, so... Yeah, I reckon about 200 mile an hour it should max out at. Let's do this! Uh, well, I've only managed to get to 170. Oh no! That's a pretty tight bend. Oh, there's no straights. I want to I get this thing up to speed. Oh. I really want to see what this thing is capable of before I finish this video. And there's no straights, so. Oh, here we go. Floor it! Oh, 175, 180. It's still going, it's still accelerating. Ah, oh, but I won anyway, so yay! So there you go folks, I have completed the F40 challenge, I've got everything I needed to do to get the F40, let's leave the video there because ugh, I keep playing for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and this video is going to be long enough anyway, um, but please let me know what you think of the DLC, um, I mean let me know what you think of my Horsa skills or lack thereof, um, yeah just uh, drop me a comment and let me know what you think of everything, uh, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and please do subscribe if you haven't already, there are Far more cows. There are far more videos coming. I promise. Uh, if I can not crash into trees. Um, but yeah, please do um, let me know what you think. Um, subscribe, thumbs up, all the usual. And I'll be back very, very, very soon with another video because I mean, I just love this. This is so awesome. And any excuse to play Forza Four in all of, in all honesty. Um, but for now, thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.